Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-automation.com. Today in this lecture, we will talk about what exactly is JMeter and how we can use it. So first of all, we'll talk about what exactly is JMeter, the different components, and then slowly we'll move her to the technical part. So what exactly is JMeter? So JMeter is actually open source, 100% pure Java application to test performance both on static and dynamic resources, web dynamic applications, okay? So basically you can use JMeter where you can simulate a heavy load on a server or a group of server or network or even object to test their strength and you can analyze the overall performance under different load type. So using JMeter we will be using a lot of you know threads and I will say the virtual users on a particular uh, I will say application server network depends on what kind of application you have and finally we'll monitor the performance under different load type. So it's very easy and very, I will say, you know, popular tool to do the performance testing. So I will be showing you how exactly it works and how you can use in your real time applications as well. So before we move ahead into the technical part, you need to understand how exactly JMeter works. Okay. So uh, I will show you the official documentation, what exactly they have mentioned and how they have suggested us to use it. But this is the very basic workflow I am going to show you. Okay, but we will be ex, you know, extending this workflow depends on which kind of requirement we have. So basically you will start the JMeter, you will be sending the request. So depends on which kind of, you know, application you want to test. So we will be sending requests to the target system or a server or application with a different number of users. Okay, it can be 10, 20, 100,000 depends on how much load your application can bear. Then finally, we will be getting the response from the server, right? Because the moment you start sending the request, you will get the sub response as well. So finally, JMeter is going to capture all the responses. And once JMeter capture all the responses, it will capture all the data. And finally, it will calculate the stats. And this process will continue. So you can see it's a very basic process. You will start sending the request. You will get the response. JMeter will capture all the response and finally it will capture all the data and finally it will give you the stats so this process will keep on running depends on how many users you are running or how many users you are putting right so if you have 10 users thousand users then this process will continue once the complete uh, i will say the number of users has been done or once the load has been completed finally your test will end and once your test will end finally you will get the report part Okay, so don't worry even if you don't understand, but once you, you know, will start practicing, once you start implementing this in real time, you will understand this complete workflow. But for the time being, just keep this image in your mind so that once you start, you will be able to relate this easily. Now, let me show you the technical documentation or I will say the official documentation of JMeter. You will get to know more detail about JMeter. So as you can see, this is the official site for JMeter. You just need to type jmeter.apache.org and you will be landing to their homepage. Now you can follow them on Twitter, you can follow them on GitHub. So in case if they have new updates or some new features, you will be notified. Yeah. Now the first line, if you see, as I mentioned, it's completely open source software, 100% Java application, which is designed to load, test functional behavior and measure the performance. This is the main part. We will be measuring the performance. So guys, it's a non-functional tool. Okay. Where we will be testing the performance of the application. So initially they have designed this tool just to test the performance of a web application, but now they have expanded to other test functions. Okay. So you can see now you can also test the different kind of, I will say the application server or protocol. So basic, this is basically what we are going to do. But apart from that, Jmeter also support rest web services, soap web services, FTP protocol, database using J JDBC. LDAP, SMTP, POP, IMAP, and so many other uh, protocols. Okay, so depends on the requirement, you can use JMeter accordingly. Apart from this, they also have their own ID where you can record your browsers and other application behavior. And finally, you can debug as well. So they have also their CLI mode where you can simply run your test in non GUI mode or you can say in headless mode. They also have very intuitive HTML report. You can also get the, you know, response in different formats like HTML, JSON, XML, and they have mentioned a couple of features. So we'll try to cover most of them. Okay. Whatever is required for our real time use cases, we will be using that. Now, the most important part guys, in case if you want to 
uh, also study from your end they have given a very good documentation okay so just follow this how do i do it and this is very interesting part which they mentioned which i want to highlight especially that jmeter is not a browser so basically it works on the protocol level so this is the main part of this complete series that it's not a browser it works at the protocol level it means you will not see some browsers are coming up they will be doing the actions and you will get the result no it works at the protocol level like you will be sending the request you will be getting the response and then you need to analyze the behavior of your application okay so please go through this it's very very informative apart from that they also have given uh, you know tutorials and um, yeah these tutorials also are very good so once we move ahead definitely i will show you how to install gmeter what are the different components it has so in case if you are interested i can show you how jmeter looks like so this is how jmeter looks like and you will see we have a couple of elements here right so let me just give you one line summary of each element so that once we move ahead you will understand uh, what exactly these elements are used for okay so just give me two more minutes let me quickly explain you these elements okay so for this i just need to show you this component reference the moment you open this so as you can see they have sampler the moment you come down they have logic controllers and finally they have listeners the moment you come down you also find configuration elements you will find assertions you will find timers you will find pre-processor and you will also find the post processor so let me just give you one line summary of each now these samplers actually perform the real task or i will say sample perform the actual work of the jmeter so each sampler will send one or more requests depends on your requirement so you can see they have ftp request http request jwc java request and different kind of samplers so these samplers result will have the different attributes that also we will discuss second is logic controllers okay so logic controllers as the name says controller they will determine in which order these samplers will be processed so whatever samplers we will be discussing so with with the help of these logic controllers you will determine the order in which samplers will get processed third part is listeners as the name says they will listen to the you know result so they will be listening to the test results and with the help of these listeners you can identify what is going on with your applications or your service or the uh, i will say the protocol that you are testing the next part is configuration so as the name says configure it means you can use uh, some variables here which will be used in your sampler okay so we will be having different kind of configuration like csv data config ftp dns http cookie manager request default header manager and so on we'll talk about them one by one depends on which kind of application that we are testing most important part is assertion as the name says basically we will be doing some checks on the sampler that whenever we send some request we are getting the response right so we need to also assert that whether these response are coming properly or not so basically it's a check for our sampler result timers timer this is like when you start working with jmeter so jmeter don't put any timer by default so you can put timer so depends on the required like how much time you want to keep between each sampler or request so based on that you can use this timer and the last two is pre-processor and the post-processor so guys as the name suggests Pre-processor will get executed before actual sampler request and post-processor again as the name suggests they will be applied after each sampler yeah so this is just one line summary of the different element so don't worry we will try to cover most of them depends on the requirement and let me show you how exactly they look like the moment you right click you can see we have samplers logic controllers we have pre-processor post-processor assertions timer and we have config element at the most important part the listener which will actually listen to your results yeah so it looks like little tricky little tough but it's not guys it's very very easy it is just you need to understand this tool and you need to also understand the different component it has and finally you need to also understand how we can analyze the result yeah so that's all for this video in the next videos we'll talk about how to install jmeter and how you can record your first test and so on so guys, in case if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe this channel, share with your friends who are looking forward for performance testing or any other test automation. 
and in case if you have any other issue let me know in the comment section and i will try my best to answer thank you so much guys have a nice day bye bye